All right. Hello, everybody. Should be live. How's it going? Hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. I was uh, I was tuning in a bit into the Champions Chess Tour. If you haven't been following it, you're missing out. There's some. There's been some super exciting games. Uh, the the rapid format with Armageddon. I mean, that's kind of where life should be at. I I don't know. Like I love me some good old classical chess, but. I tell you, I uh, also really enjoy myself some tense endings where even the best of the best, while they still play well, maybe make some mistakes. It's kind of nice. We're going to jump into a game here against Sumo <laughs> Fork. Tommy Nyback. Tommy Nyback. Hey, Gucci. How's it going? Why does, why does that name ring a bell? Tommy Nyback. I'll have to think about that one. I feel like I've seen uh I feel like I've seen this GM before somewhere. But I can't remember where. Okay. I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing. I, I I'm I've been trying different things against this H4 because I've been getting it played against me quite a bit. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit and uh yeah, hopefully this turns into something awesome. Hopefully. He's thinking. He's thinking. He wants something fancy. You know it. You know he wants Rook takes H7. That's that's probably what he wants. But I don't think it's there. And donut think it is there okay i think i'm just gonna i'm gonna hightail it out of there get get my my castle queen side cooking uh no 95 would be quite annoying so i'll stop that and then there's no world where where i castle king side at this point right no world, no world. Castling kingside, probably Gonzo. I'm about to get the worst pawn structure known to humankind if he takes on c6. I'm just going to accept my fate, say my opponent has not been castling. No, he has not been castling. His king is still in the center and say that I get compensation for it. Hmm. 95. How bothered am I by this move? I'm I'm kind of bothered by it cuz he has this follow up knight takes a 7 at some point. So I'm thinking I'm just going to take here and then go knight c4, go after d2. All right. I think yes, I take. And then if queen takes a7, queen d3. That keeps this knight protected and covers a6. So he can't do a little check here and take. He has to go queen a8, where king d7 hits the queen and prevents him from taking this knight. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. want this can I prevent that uh, I think it's fine right I think it's fine I'm not down any material I'll still have the better development my pawn structure still pretty garbage but I think this end game could be fine. Let's go full blown for these pawns. 100% after those pawns. 100% just gonna take that pawn. <laughs> nice. 
Okay, hold on. He's he's starting to rush. I think he I think he's paying attention to the time situation. He realizes. No, I'm I'm up on time here. So yeah, trying to keep a good pace is important, but I mean I'm just up two pawns now. I'm just up three pawns now. Okay. Don't hang knight g5. Oh, got the knight. Let's go. Ah, queen and up. Yeah, that was weird. Nice sweater, King Charles. Thank you. Uh, any any Zelda fans in chat? I I quite like this Christmas sweater. I'm gonna admit it's it's a little bit warm in here, so I don't know I don't know how long it will stay, but. I like it. If you want that, you're gonna have to come and get it, King Charles. Oh, I've had it for a long time, and uh, I have I have like my storage of Christmas clothes. I I specifically throughout the year keep my little stash of Christmas clothes that I break out every time it rolls around. Yes, how's it going? Hey, Mr. President, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Tis the season. I I uh I figured I should wear the chest dogs hat today instead of the Santa hat since they came in yesterday, and so I thought I better make sure I'm wearing something festive. December man. I don't think I don't think this is this is too scary, because my opponent's got pawns, got a queen. Ah, uh, should I go full blown? Get rid of the bishop, play the knight. I kind of feel like I should, so as to prevent my opponent from picking up this pawn on e five with the queen. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, the hats turned out pretty good. Soup, <laughs> the sweating snowman. I like it. How you doing, Soup? Hmm. Let's do this. F four, because that solidifies this knight. But I also like it for the aggressive purposes. Going for F five. Okay, that pins the pawn, so no f5 because bishop takes. But now queen e3, I'm threatening g6. Just get that out of here. Get it out of here. Actually, I'm not worried about queen a2. I think if queen a2, then I play c3. And as gross as it looks, my king's perfectly safe. Perf perfectly safe. <laughs> uh, yes, Mr. President, I am going to play the light title Tuesday. 
Perfectly safe, King. Uh, I mean, you bring your rook down. I'm going to bring my knight over. Just no worries. Oh, finishing some work and listening to my grand strategies. Hopefully they're good. I, 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 felt, I felt pretty good about that first game. It was a bit funky, but I feel like it came together well. And my opponent, man, just panicked so much in time pressure. Yeah, wants, does he want to play rook takes? That'd be pretty sweet. I want to. I, I kind of want to take just to see it. <laughs> the rook come all the way across the board. Uh, great to know. Stick to the stream to support. Ah, much appreciated. Okay, no, no queen a one. So I, I don't need to protect this, which is nice. That was the big concern. With queen a1, I'm going to... Ah. Let's start here. Knight f4. Uh, I don't like that pin. Let's get out of that pin. Wait, wait. There are tricks. There are tricks. Knight g6. The f7 pawn's pinned as soon as bishop takes e5 happens. Knight g6. Uh, okay, okay, you threatened. That's fine. I, I didn't need to take the the bishop. I'm going to take here or I'm going to take here on f7. Ah, uh, you're trying to ruin all my fun. Rude. Oh, that hangs. That hangs stuff. Prefer not to hang stuff. Unless it's Christmas decorations. Oh. Oh, the stalemate. Woo. Woo. That was a messy ending. I definitely was trying to flag my opponent. And uh, uh, what I flipped up here was, was with Rook H3. Like if I play, oh, I can't play Rook H2. My Rook is hanging. Okay, Rook H3 is fine. King C2, I just underestimated in time pressure. Hey, dude, how's it going? Sumo Pork wants a rematch. Sumo Pork, let's do it. He's going to play this H4 line again. I just, I just know. I'm going to take here and then play bishop g4. Because now queen a4, I have queen d7. I feel like this should be the slightly improved way of playing this. Okay, get in the bishop. Discourage knight e5. Keep discouraging knight e5. I, knight e5 would really annoy this bishop. That's why... I do want to pay attention to it. This is like a, it's kind of like a London. It's a bit, it's a bit of a weird London, I would say. Wow, finally going for h5. I'm going to take with the pawn. I. I don't know if I have good reasons for taking with a pawn. I've just, I found traditionally that I, I don't mind taking it like this. Uh, leaving my, the bishop just can be solid on g4. So it's, it's less for a logical reason in this position and more just trusting experience. <laughs> uh, hopefully that, that pans out. That's typically not how you want to play chess, but blitz is a bit, uh, blitz is a bit different. Bishop b5. Bishop b5. All right. The bishop, the light square bishop is out. Let's let's castle the king where it's open. I'm not I'm not too stressed because if my opponent doesn't take here, yeah. My opponent doesn't take here, then 
I'd have knight f6, which I think would provide a solid defense if my opponent does take there. Then get some trades to lessen the potential pressure. What do I want? Uh, let's start here. Let's start here. Bishop g4. Yeah, brook h4, bishop f5. Hey, Steven, how's it going? Harry Osborne, <laughs> Lone Hearns? Yes. Hey, Harry, I have uh, I have fully accepted the fact that I am 100% chess nerd. Meh, you're doing meh? Do you, uh, Steven, do you typically play in the morning, Title Tuesday, or just the, the late one? Hmm. Which one which one do you like more? Cuz I I've played in the morning one just a couple of times and I've definitely noticed uh players wise that there is a bit of a difference and just the way it kind of worked out cuz I think there tends to be quite a a decent amount more in the morning one. <laughs> King March uh okay let's pin let's pin that pawn pawn's not going anywhere uh is this annoying because i i can't take if if the check i can't take because of the discovery but i think i just move and it's fine yeah there it is but i'm gonna keep that pressure i'm gonna keep that pressure on this pawn he's just gonna let me take okay Oh, he's not just going to let me take. He's going to say that you're trapped, but maybe I pull a reverse uno. Totally planned. Not really, but makes me feel better if I pretend. Getting ready. I, I think he can take, take, night check, take, take. I get a lot of pawns there. That's probably better for him, though. Oh, he's going to let my king up. All right. Uh, I got to be careful. Let's start pushing this pawn. I, I want to push h6, but I want to keep that square. That's okay. That's okay. A draw. That's fair. He missed. Rook takes g6. Wait. Rook takes g6. Wait. Rook takes g6? Steven? Man, I, I I don't know what is up with with my opponent, but he gets really in his head about time. I, I wonder I wonder if he's not a great bullet player. Oh, twenty eight forty five. He's pretty good. It's weird. I'm I'm actually. I mean, I guess I could have tried to push just with the time advantage for a win, but I don't know. I uh, surprised my opponent didn't try to push. I mean, I get it. Low time, but I guess if I just keep going king f4, it's it's really hard to break out. Yeah, I guess king f4. Maybe maybe it's just fair all around. A good advantage, but not insane. Hikaru played. Wait, Hikaru played the Smith Mora to go for the win. Wait, oh, Hikaru's in a must-win situation. Hold on, hold on. Wait, what happened? Ah, MVL just played knight f6. Queen takes d4 line, knight c6. Ah, okay, so... This is the... Yeah, this queen takes d4 is a bit a bit of a funky line. Um, 
I've 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 gotten in a game like this once, and I really didn't, really I really didn't know Queen takes d4 was a move. So it really it really uh, surprised me, and I was a bit thrown off. Uh, but I remember looking at it, and this move f5 being the top computer move. Like I remember seeing that, and I don't know if I I still fully understand it, but it's pretty it's pretty interesting move. Oh, it's over. What's over? Who's over? It's it's what? It looks like it's still going, but they they didn't get the Smith Moore apart. This this transposed back into an elephant. That's uh if if you really dislike the Smith Mora, uh this knight f6 line is is it's a really good idea. Oh wait, it's not that's live accuracy. Yeah. Yeah, they have the live accuracy. Forgot chess.com did that. Oh, so you thought it was over because it was showing the the accuracy. No, it's still going. Have to keep an eye on that. We will, we will. Naka. He's holding on. He's holding on. But if you've been following the event, you know it has not been Naka's best by any means. Uh, I saw a video. The ending against Abdu Sitarov. Uh, the Knight and Bishop endgame, if you guys saw it. And man, Naka just like it was a tough end game, and I and I know from that perspective, it kind of makes sense that Naka was, I know, a little bit frazzled trying to defend that. But the video, he looked super psyched out. Man, f this way, <laughs> Nesni, what happened? What? Why? What are you? Uh, I really want to get 2200, but I'm just struggling really hard at 2180. Well, I got I got this last title Tuesday. My opponent played that night to d7, and I got knight c6. This guy was ready. This guy was a bit a bit more ready, but still. That simple. I don't know if it is that simple. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna try and keep this spicy for sure. Snezny, are you just do you just keep losing and then dropping back? Is that like winning, then losing, then winning, then losing, so on and so forth. Is that your is that your struggle? All right, now now if f six, I think I take and then take here to go after the rook. Like a clean rook in a eight. And if he doesn't do that. I guess bishop e7 is probably the best way of handling it. Because queen e8, then bishop h6, yeah. It's probably the best way of handling it. Can I keep up the pressure? No, well, I don't want to get my... I don't want to get my bishop trapped. I don't think it's getting trapped. I think I drop back. Oh, wait, e5. I should. I think I should have played f4, actually. I think I should have played f4. Peasant like Caden, how do you cope without a, a, a gf? What, what do you mean, cope? What, what are you talking about? Can you, can you not stand uh, the single life? Too much for you? Do you feel like it needs to be, a, it must be a cope thing. Ah, uh, you've been single too long now. I mean, you're making it a project to get a girlfriend. 
Uh, I don't... I mean, obviously, I'm no expert in the matter, uh, peasant-like, but... It's a <laughs> project is a funny... A funny, funny word for it. Problem is, it coincides with your principles. What what principle does it coincide with? Ah, here. Let's go here and keep this square for my bishop after king h8. And just watch as my bishop gets trapped, because why not, you know? Because why not? Yeah, that was not. Wait, wait, there's a chance that I escape. There's a chance, because I take here, this is pinned now. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, and the knight escapes. Oh, oh, okay, okay. That was that was. Uh, I'm gonna. Okay, I lose the pawn. That's fine. It's <laughs> mine's not my knight. <laughs> Wait, no, I got threats. I got threats. All right, forty seconds. I'm a little bit down on time. This is about the point that I need to really start taking that into consideration. Man, I can't I can't believe I got away with that. Like that that's one of those that my opponent knows I just like was lucky. <laughs> uh, like my my opponent knows that I didn't calculate that. I just found it on the spot and it managed to not lose a piece or whatnot. Now the exchange. Now things are coming together. We're turning it around. Turn this ship around. Uh, okay, yeah, F3. Take. Oh, that's pinned. Oh, that's pinned. Uh, here. And here. That was highly questionable. Highly questionable placement of the king. me too frick ah freaking monkey bananas my brian thought he meant queen free well <laughs> women don't let you have another gluten free but i feel like that's too constraining i want to be able to have more than what a good morning robin lord no i i uh i don't remember how i say it but i definitely meant calling myself a monkey. I was just I uh I I got a little I got a little frazzled under time pressure there. Just a little bit. Snazny. Yeah, that's that's been the struggle. Yeah, that's uh I don't know, that's kind of how it is. When you when you start to get close to writing, that's quite often how it can be, but I mean, you, you keep making progress. Like, you, you've hit a couple of those struggles. And you've been going up, so. And have an open relationship. Yeah, that is technically what it's called, yeah. But, am I, I okay. But, like, peasant-like, if you don't have one in the first place, why why are you even thinking about having more that that doesn't that doesn't really add up to me uh no offense but start start with yeah <laughs> figure out the first one <laughs> don't don't stress too much about it just try and i don't know find someone that makes you happy and then
a buoy. Giving me some free pawns. I like it. All right, maybe not so free. Maybe not so free. Maybe a little not free. Frickin. That's fine. It's fine. I uh, guess I take here. He's probably going to play here, I imagine. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Queen B3 is annoying. Shooting. Goodness gracious. Dang it, what the heck? What is happening right now? Ah, I don't know about that. It's a really annoying move. Uh, let's try this. I don't know if it's the best, but we're gonna we're gonna try it. The idea is if it takes, I, I, I get a throw in rook d8, and hopefully dislodge the queen from this diagonal, so knight g5 isn't as much of an issue, and I, I have time to take on a1. Uh, it's a bit ugly, but, you know, it might just work. Although, maybe I could just, uh, oh, it's going to completely back off. That's surprising. Uh, what? What the heck? Let's go! Trying to flag me? Get out of here! Hey, baby vamps. Uh, this, is, this is a new chest dog tat. We just got him yesterday. Hey, ski money. Oh, that was, uh... I, I was, I, dang, I was actually starting to get a little bit frustrated here because my opponent threw full caution into the wind and just started trying to flag me. Which, don't get me wrong, I've been there, but, you know, 
I, I was it was an exciting game. I kind of hope that no one would try to, to beat me normally. But right around here, ah, it's just so hard with the rook running around to try and find that checkmate. And I went I went for this knight h three ideas like either my opponent trades the rook and I guarantee a draw or maybe I get something. Cameras, Chris, that's good. We're pretty excited about it. Glad, glad that it's uh, you know, it's it's panning out. What the? Wait, what happened? Nakamura just destroyed here. Wait, what? They're going to Armageddon. Wait, he just. He just blundered a pawn. He just... And then he just threw in the towel? Like... Wow, I mean, okay, it's it's really bad, but... That's a... I mean, that's great. That's a great sign for Naka. Just a one-move blunder where MVL's like, very quickly, I'm done with that. Psychologically, that's that's good. Bobby almost pulled a Houdini. Uh, what's going on? Oh, oh! I didn't see this one. What the heck? Wow, Bobby. Oh. Things did not go well for Bob, Bobby. Almost pulled a Houdini. You were looking at the Nakamura game with your coach. Wait, the Nakamura game today? Stephen Willie? Yeah. <laughs> That's a man, if you were watching that live, that must have been must have been quite the surprise. Just the wait a second. MVL just dropped stuff. Oof. Oof. The Carlson Bobby match. Carlson just threw all his bonds in the opening. Well, they did finally fix the the buy. Are you talking about before Ramen Lord? Cause I think they switched it. So I think this is just the finals now. I don't. Oh wait, round robin stage. Here it is. What round was that one? Yeah, this was against Ferruja. I don't I don't know if I saw that one. I, I, I saw one of the ones. Man, I've seen <laughs> I've seen a lot of chess. <laughs> that's that's why that's perfectly possible I've seen this game. Just a little bit much early in the game. Snazny, you gotta go. You gotta you gotta get your one minute. Oh. Oh yeah, I saw this. I did see this one, cause uh, Tony, like this Tony, Tony was so excited or just like couldn't believe this this game. How Carlson uh, played, you know, knight c six move one, and I mean, honestly, won fairly convincingly. I mean, it, it was an insane game. It was a really good game from Carlson. Really fun. I, I definitely have noticed uh, this tournament. It seems like... Not that one. Wait, I missed... Wait, what was this, this other one? It wasn't this one? It was a bit earlier. Cause I, I didn't think uh, I didn't think they played today. The uh, Caruana and Carlson. Looking at some of the engine wins for Norderbeck, there were some KOs. Stockfish, are we are we watching? Well, we're we're definitely tuning in. I may uh, I may be staying here honestly to to at least watch the Armageddon game. At least watch the Armageddon game between Bill <laughs> and Nicar. The Armageddon games. I I, I uh, honestly love Armageddon. I think Armageddon and 
just about any format's fun. You may not always love it, but I mean, even even what like the Norway, where they draw and then they go play an Armageddon game to decide who gets the extra half point. I like it. Or they go play like a tiebreak game. It's it's a good time. Oh, dude, two good hyper accelerated correspondence games. White and one. Very nice. Very nice. Sounds like some good practice playing playing both sides. It's actually kind of on that. I mean, I definitely feel myself pretty confident playing against the Grunfeld. Um and I think that is in a large part because I am a Grunfeld player. Like playing both sides of an opening can be can be a really interesting experience. A bit a bit a bit intimidating at times. If your opponent uh, really knows what they're doing, but there was an MPL game that featured the Grunfeld getting crushed, and I thought of you. Aw, ski money. I think of you too when I blunder up a lot of material. Ugh. No, no, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't. But I, you know, I have to fire back. Yeah, the Grunfeld, ah, sadly. Good of you to think of me so. Uh, yeah, the most I learned from Grunfeld was playing his white against Leela. Yeah, the, the Grunfeld, I don't know, I, I love it, but I do think at the top level it is it is hitting a point where there's just so many sidelines and too many of the top players are aware of the 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 interesting sidelines that it's becoming a lot bigger of a pain to play the Grunfeld at a, a higher level. At least it seems to be the case. Correspondence seems like a good preparation tool to me. He held it though. Oh, well, <laughs> never mind. Grunfeld is cracked. <laughs> Best opening everybody should have to play it always. Ramen Lord, did you ever find the game you were thinking of? Having all the sidelines being good is why I stopped studying the King's Indian. Yeah, it's... I, I think uh, Still Looking will find out. Okay, no worries. Um, I think the annoying thing about the Grunfeld kind of on that is that it's not that there are a bunch of sidelines. Because, you know, just about any opening, of course, is going to have sidelines. But it's the fact that uh, there are so many, and they're they're pretty decent. Like if you know what you're doing, you can you can play a lot of weird nonsense. The example I always use is is this line: knight c three, d five, take take, knight a four. Uh, this just looks so stupid, so stupid. Like this, <laughs> knight a four. It, it it should be garbage. Like absolute garbage but i mean look at look at these percentages uh, uh of course it's that's funny knight f6 <laughs> i six just just move back uh, i mean of course it's not like the most dominant thing for white ever but 37 percent win with over 300 games this is the master database like it's it's a decent enough line um so if you you play this and then as white you prepare this so you really know like stupid computer depth on it. It's annoying. Still remember our game in that night a four. Yeah, and I, I don't even really know it. I just know it's a move. I play it. But that's typically what I would do. Whenever I was preparing for someone that played the Grunfeld, I'd think of the different sidelines and I'd say, okay, I'm gonna play this sideline. And I would spend an hour before the game preparing that sideline. So we would go into it and they would be struggling to remember, hey, this is a sideline I haven't looked at in a while. Because why? Why would you? Like, why are you? Why would you constantly be looking at knight a four, or whatever line it is? And then they're trying to remember, okay, what did I look at here? Where I'm like, I'm fresh. I'm coming at you with insane computer prep. Freaking good luck. <laughs> and I, uh, it took it took me a while to get there. I tried to be a bit more mainline in the Grunfeld when I I first had to. I found myself playing against it, but then I started doing that. Um, 
where I got more into the sidelines and preparing it really deeply. And it started working out really well for me. Played Knight F6, thinking avoiding E4 could be a good idea. I mean, percentage-wise, Knight F6 is is maybe the idea. Nibs of bitch didn't die just for us to play moves like Knight A4. Ugh, it's, it's, it's crazy. It is crazy. But, you know, on the flip side, on the flip side, there are some pretty funky, crazy lines for black as well. Uh, best example on that is against F3 playing Knight H5. And you see Knight H5, insane percentage, played very rarely. I'm going to think of it after knight a4 because it's another ridiculous move putting the knight on the rim, but I tell you, like, the Grunfeld, the Grunfeld's just funky. It's just, it's just, it's just a funky line. You have to be ready for everything. You have to have a good feel for the position and, you know, not, not stress too much, even if you get a worse position out of the opening, because you're going to get worse positions. You have a good, you have a good feel for it. You, you you can figure it out. I've been trying to be like that in the Sicilian for my classical game since the Moira has been studied a lot already. Yeah. Yeah, the Sicilian... Sicilian's kind of annoying. How many people don't play mainline? <laughs> like, like not even, not even, like, sidelines in the open Sicilian. The amount of people, which... I when I play e4, I go for the close Sicilian lines, but it's freaking annoying <laughs> to play against it. Sicilian's supposed to be exciting, but yeah, I mean, knowing the sidelines, not gonna lie, it's 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 another decent strategy because the the open lines of the Sicilian are have been very studied. You gotta you gotta be ready for a fight. Unfortunately, there's chess that we played after the opening. Eh, only sometimes keep money. Steven Alpin. Alpin, I feel like, has become a lot more popular lately. Like, maybe it's just me, but the Alpin in in top-level games, in my own games, I feel like is, is sort of the quote-unquote sideline pick nowadays because it... Because it has that balance, right? It has that balance between being sort of open as well as, uh, you know, sideline, not as crazy. Oh, Ramen Lord. It was uh, Perugia. Carlson took down Perugia today. But like that too. I face it quite a bit online. I got inspired to play it watching Eridinsky. Yeah, it's just, it's it's like this this fine line between a side variation and a main line. Uh, in the Sicilian, and it's it's good. It's a good that game. Okay. <laughs> um, did I? Man, I I did miss the. It is still the round robin stage, round seven. I actually missed the Armageddon game between Carlson and Ferrugia because you know I was driving, and. Unlike my mother, <laughs> I don't want to get pulled over for, quote, driving and playing chess. <laughs> Ugh. Dang, this is a crazy game. Is this the one? This is the one. No, so... That's the one. All the UGMs look the same to me. We've morphed. We've morphed into the mighty Magnus Nakamura in Ramen Lord's brain. Behold, the GM power. Your mother plays chess and drives. No, so uh, it was at a tournament in Vegas, and I was there uh, with my mom, and we had some of our really close friends. He was also playing. His mom was there. And they went to go grab some food. And I was playing on a DGT board, so my game was being broadcast. And when my mom was at a stoplight, she you know, has her iPad, has my game going, grabs it, you know, pulls it up to look at it. <laughs> and just so happened, a police officer sees her do this at the stoplight and pulls her over for it. And uh, <laughs> the quote was, hey, you know, you know why I pulled you over? No, why? 
for for playing chess and and driving she's like but but i was at a stoplight like you know just just checking on my son really quickly and he uh he 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 let her go with just a warning but it was it was pretty funny she uh we 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 quoted that for a long time like hey mom don't don't play chess and drive <laughs> yeah no I, this is this is ramen lord this is this is absolutely insane it's uh this f3 i mean in in the slav like this i is this is this a move i i mean f3 why is why is my there's games come on what the heck Come on, come on, chess.com. There, there are games. Don't you lie to me. Straight out of, straight out of book. No, I, I, I guess it was, they got out of book super early. I was just curious how early it was. And the fact that it's trying to tell me that, uh, E3, there are no, it's saying there are no games here after C6. This is broken. This is this is not working. <laughs> could, you, uh, could you imagine? Uh, Slav was a new opening unveiled today. Uh, frick. I actually, I wouldn't mind. New positions. <laughs> What's that? Uh, do I need a refresh? The, maybe I need to close down the play window. Let's try that. I really want to know how, how early was this? Because this looks like... Thank you! Thank you. Was that so hard? Yes, it was. But it shouldn't have been. Yeah, F3. This is... Okay, this is what I wanted to know. Nine games after F3. Wow. And H6. We're done. We're done. We're out of, we're out of it. Looks like a Jobava with C4 included. I'm not I'm not too familiar with uh, F3 lines in Jobava. But yeah, it's definitely quite unusual. Does it doesn't look that bad? You know, this is this is the fun thing. It's fun to it, it like this is why I'm so desperately curious about this is because it's fun to see this. In, in today's day and age where there is so much prep, there's so much, you know, theory. Having Magnus Carlsen be able to, on move five, basically take it out of theory is, uh, is pretty cool. Where's the king supposed to go? Uh, stayed, in the, stayed in the center, which for this structure, I, I don't think is, is insane. I actually uh, remember a game of, of my coach, she showed me, uh, it, was, it was a maneuvering game. And quite, quite crazy because the maneuver when he showed me this position was to bring the king over to g2, you know, f2, g2. You needed to leave this rook on h1. Uh, this, this rook, you know, was already moved, so you're not castling that side. And it was a very, very similar pawn structure, but with the pawn on h4 instead, which is a big part of why the rook needed to stay there. So I think going for this, what Carlson did in playing king f2 is actually not unusual um i mean the fact that he did it the fact that i can think of a game off the top of my head where white did very similarly it feels like this is where the king goes on f2 um a, a, a bit of a i mean not even castling you know not even an artificial castle just just move the king <laughs> connect the rooks mixed up games i thought this was the one that Carlson long castle pretty early. King F2 does seem snug. Boat pawns. Hey, Roro, how's it going? Uh, I was referring to this one. D4, D5, Knight C3, Knight F6, Bishop F4, Bishop F. Ah, yes, yes, the doors. There, there are a couple. There are a couple of lines where you get this sort of F3, G4 structure. It's uh, I don't know, not to be discounted. It's it's a it is unusual. And you do need to be careful, but I mean, it has its place for sure. Nor I had a game in the Jobava where I played King F2, King G2 with the same structure. It feels right. Yeah, it's uh, it, 
I know the crazy thing about chess, <laughs> the crazy thing about chess is you see a game like Carlson where he does that and it's like, hey, I've seen a game where someone else does that. Eleanor, you've played a game uh, where you've done that. Like the, the <gasps> it's already started. <gasps> okay, I want to see this from Naka's side because his position looks a lot more pleasant to look at. Bishop, wait, Bishop B4, there's one reason. Okay, wait, Bishop B4, Queen takes. <laughs> Processing. Oh, oh, that line was nasty, though. That is so hard to see. Oh, gosh. This, this, uh, yes, this is Armageddon, correct? Uh, c6 stops queen v5, but okay, this is the line. This is insane. Bishop b4, c3, queen takes b3, c takes b4, bishop c8. This was the key move because the queen, the mighty defender of checkmate in this case, has nowhere to go. Queen c4, only square unless you realize that the pawn is pinned and you can just pick up the queen. Bishop c8. Wow. That's brutal. I, yeah, I'm not... <laughs> I'm going to say I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked Naka didn't find that. Saying he missed bishop d4. Yeah, bishop d4 is hard to, to leave the queens there, but... I think it works because of bishop c3. Gosh. No, because rook c8 threatening bishop c3. Wait, this continues. c4. So you, you play rook c8 to provoke c4, right? Because you for some reason you can't take on e1 or it's not as effective to take on e1 right away. You provoke it. Why do we provoke it? So you can play bishop takes d3 and the rook is exposed. Ugh. <laughs> Only reason. Only reason bishop d4 back... Back on move 24, we're now on move 30. This is the only reason bishop d4 was winning. Oh. Oh, no. Now Naka stops to think after, after b4. Does look scary. b4 with b5 and bishop b2. Uh. What's been, what's been the time spending? Naka did spend a minute on bishop g7. Spent uh, 30 seconds playing c6. Uh, 40 seconds playing queen takes e5. His time spending hasn't been bad. I, I The fact that he spent a minute here with bishop g7... His tactical sense was there. Like, I'm sure Naka knows there's, there should be something here, but he just couldn't quite find it. And it's understandable. Uh... Hey, Emma Showtime! With the raid. Thank you so much. Dang it. Rara beat me to it. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Raiders. Emma, hope the uh, hope the stream was amazing. Thank you once again for the the raid two days in a row now. Have fun, yes. Take care, Raiders. Welcome. We are currently watching the Armageddon game between Hikaru Nakamura and Maxime Vashir Lagrav in the Champions Chess Tour. Doom Bastanil. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the doghouse.
Okay. And Abiel didn't, didn't trade queens. Naka wants the queen trade. Wow, Naka really pressing this queen trade because, I, I mean, he has draws. Five, queen takes, bishop f5, looks pretty good. She was cooking. Thankfully, that house didn't burn down. <laughs> and after you were an expert on bullets, hey, bullet, bullet's a good time. What did you, what did you make? What did you, what did you cook today? We, we've talked about, for the chess dogs, we've talked about doing a, a cooking stream. The, the cool. Oh. C takes b5. What was... Hold on, what? Sorry, this game, this game's been insane. The computer variations... It's just, oh, because now you're hitting g5, and you're hitting the bishop, so you should pick up a pawn. Man, the, the computer lines are just... <laughs> hey, you did do tacos. You did it today for the first time, and it was so fun. Tacos are awesome. We, we, uh, that's actually a big, one of the big ones we've talked about doing, because uh, Tony, one of the other chess dogs, he loves tacos so much, and I can tell, like, I can tell you all from experience, he, he knows how to cook some good tacos. I have had them. They were delicious. Rook takes d3 is mate in six! No! Stupid computer. I feel like I need it. The computer gives me a false expectation. They're 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 low on time. I understand it. I mean, Rook takes d d three was nasty. It would have been absolutely brilliant if he found that, but that was nasty. Stupid computer. Absolute garbage. Do it. We should. We should. They're playing like me all the time. Uh, see, but this is this is the thing. This is the thing. The computer. You know, you can't always trust it. Like, yes, Rook takes d three is there, but. You know, Naka's got two minutes. He's got to keep a good pace. It's easy to miss things like that. You know, it's more it's more relatable than sometimes I think we, we give ourselves great credit for. Man, MBL. I feel like MBL's playing quickly to try and put pressure on Naka, too. Because, not. I mean, he still has nine minutes. I, I think if I had to guess... MVL realizes that he's he's he has the worst position or he has the more dangerous position and so better to try and keep a good pace and play the clock than play the position because if he gives Naka time to think about the position uh, I guess he's worried that he's just lost now with that said does not appear to have been the correct strategy uh, I don't know Maybe, maybe I'll change my mind. But Naka seems to be handling the time pressure well. And MVL... Wow, this is... Wait. How do you even not lose? D4, Queen, F4. There's some Queen takes H2 ideas. Survival stage. I think this is... Uh, it's it's just technically not semifinals. So <laughs> they're just trying to qualify for semifinals or something. Colorful score sheet, seriously. This is looking good. A6, solidify B5. I mean, that queen on H2, an absolute defensive and aggressive monster. And Naka's just up two pawns. This should this should be Naka's. Yeah, the winner of this faces. So am, am I correct in understanding that Naka and MVL were the bottom of the round robin stage? So that's why they went straight. They went straight to the losers bracket. 
and then so and Carlson goes straight into the semifinals. Bobby and Abdusitarov start in the quarterfinals, basically. See you, Snazny. Oh, you have one more question. Jug handle, thank you. I like this sweater. Got lots of compliments so far, so I appreciate it. Appreciate y'all. Okay, this game, how much time? I got... Fifth and sixth went to the losers. BP, I like the office. I like the hat. I like the sweater. OMG, take my money. Hey, things things are things are are, are going well. They're they're coming together for the chess box. This this I tell you, I I'll move out of the way a little bit. You can see new office setup. Okay, that's my backpack. I just kind of threw it on the ground. Don't pay attention to that. Um, but it feels a lot better in here compared to our compared to our previous setup same office but with a with a whole brand new look take a shot every time snazzy he needs to actually go uh snazzy closing in on getting a title snazzy do you are, are you playing in actual like otb tournaments i feel like most of most of what i've heard is uh online Okay, uh, I don't know what's what's your what's your OTB rating? Are you playing FIDE? Does the Netherlands have? Does the Netherlands have their own pink monster? Would suffice. There you go. Currently fifteen fifty. Okay, but that is that that's a that's the the Netherlands rating. For glory. For glory. Yeah, Naka's just gonna draw it. Naka's just gonna draw this game. That's it. Naka takes Naka takes it. Yes. Um, do they have okay, but we have <laughs> Yeah, it's nasty. I can't I, I don't really know then. I don't know much about the the if the Netherlands has titles or what's going on there. Who do we take? Who do you take here? I'm gonna I'm gonna bandwagon with Bobby here. Look at look at it from his side. Oh, this is an ugly position though. For both sides. <laughs> um Left for a second. Uh, I mean, Naka did win, Eleanor. He he drew the Armageddon, so he did win. Uh, as far as this game, I don't know. We're, this is the Abdusitarov Bobby game, which is not it's not as colorful. It's not as colorful as the Naka MVL game, but still been quite good. Wow, computer thinks very positively. <laughs> of uh these back and forth moves from caruana <laughs> this is weird yeah it was it was armageddon always repeats uh i think you have to like fabi here i know i know he has draw odds and that's i'm just looking at the computer a bit unfair but I mean, there's actually no, there's no mating threat for white. And I feel like Abdusitarov is just going to be annoyed by this queen repeatedly. Like, it, I, I just feel like it's hard for Abdusitarov to get anything going here, uh, basically. <gasps> Wait, that's easy. What? Queen? What did he... No way. What? This is it. Is this is this actually what's happening? What is this? Hold on. What's the I'm going to I'm going to mute this, but it's, it's done. Wow. 
oh, you can see it on his face. Like, disappointed to, to lose. But, I mean, he still gets loser's bracket. Like, he's knocked out. He's not knocked out. But that, that face is the, I just, I'm, I'm done. I'm out of here. Take a quick glance. Okay. Okay. Maybe he composed himself. Um, that, I, yeah. I, that was that was an ending. What happens if we redeem Flipboard during OTB? Uh, we 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 flip the board and run out. Stupid redeem. I actually, it's actually a good reminder though. PP, I'm 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 gonna pause those for <laughs> for Title Tuesday. <laughs> I'm not uh I'm not flipping my board for Title Tuesday. Don't get any ideas now. When I do mate in threes, I don't get blue moves. You just gotta be Bobby. Gonna go find a soft <laughs> uh, We take those. This was just weird. This was how much time did he spend playing Queen A4? 50 seconds. This like, like even bishop c2, I, I feel like the obvious move in just about every variation is queen e3. And all I, all I can think is Abdusatarov calculated, probably calculated lines with moving this bishop. And then all those lines, queen e1 was, was you know, e1 was covered. And just in, in, the, in the moment thought, oh, if, if this is covered... I don't want to move this rook after queen e3, so let me just go and protect that. And decides... See, but that doesn't make sense, because why doesn't he just play queen e2? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't, it doesn't add up. I... Yeah, just, just a complete blank out moment. I, that 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 that's all that's all this seems this just seems like a complete blank out moment yeah queen d2 queen takes a3 but but isn't that isn't that here too like like if queen c2 was his master plan i mean i uh, unless you think like this is good after taking uh, Nasney, you hit 2230, very nice. Good victory. You do really have to go now? Okay, that's that's what, the fifth time? Uh the master plan. The master plan definitely had some holes in it. Definitely, definitely. Wait. Uh uh, that BP, that is a beautiful flipboard. That is a beautiful flipboard. I like it. Wow. Uh, so that that is it for today, right? With the champions chess tour, like they're they're done for the day. They they don't go right into to more rounds, right? Where's the schedule? Semifinals day one. Yeah. So the semifinals. Should be Bobby and Carlson. No, you think there's more. Wait. There's more. There can't be more. Title Tuesday is about to start. Yeah, double Jared. You probably didn't want to give it up because because of the pawns. Semis is final five. We get we get Bobby versus Naka. No, 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 back, right? So the last match in the losers. Okay. No, back versus Naka today. I think so, double Jared, because, uh, yeah, Abdu Sitarov just got. Kicked to the loser's bracket by Fabi. And Naka won. Hey! What? Loser's bracket final. Oh, so they they don't they don't keep the loser's bracket. They it's just gonna be whoever wins the loser's bracket just makes it into the semis. 
And so Fabi should play Wesley So, and whoever wins this plays Carlson. That's that's where I'm confused. I, I assume just because of the loser's bracket that it would be... They would keep the loser's bracket because that's usually a bit more common. Oh, so chooses who he faces. <laughs> okay. I think I'm getting on I'm getting there, guys. I'm getting there. I'm getting there with this format. Oh. He gets the easy pairing. Who do you pick? That's tough. I think it depends cuz it would be I think it would be interesting Naka wins. Eleonora, what was my best score? Uh, I think I got eight and a half once. Eight and a half was my best. Slacking. It should be nine, but I'm a slacker. Title Tuesday is tough. <laughs> Today is 11 out of 11. There we go. That's the spirit. Today is the day. Today is the day. A double board flip from BP. So Cranda can find you. <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be that would be Is that the badge of honor? Is that the badge of honor to be accused by Kramnik at this point? Today's the day for sure. All the scary chess cons are distracted. Let's get an interesting score. There we go. Yeah, I, I probably should go get ready for that. Ten minutes. All right, Roro, catch you later. Thank you, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, BP. BP, do you just do you just need a board close by to actually be the one flipping it? I'm gonna sign out here. Uh, let's uh, actually let's let's do this. Open this tab so that's what you all can see. Take a look at my home page. Got to switch to my personal account here. Because that's what I got to play Title Tuesday on. The interesting streaming requirements or how like requirements for having stream. It's a good thing I did that because I did it out of habit just <laughs> just click the I for my password. <laughs> that would have been bad. I didn't even check on OBS to make sure that this, this screen is the one that's showing. <laughs> uh, okay. A signed board. Sorry, it's hard to hear where I am. Oh, oh, BP. Uh, sure. I mean, if you if you want to pay for a signboard, for sure. Well, that was an advertisement on twenty seven hundred chess. Wait, how much of that did you guys see? Whoa. Twenty seven hundred chess, looking spicy. Sure, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Ooh, Mag you guys, that was, but you saw Magnus Carlson's name on there, right? Uh, it's today the day, narrator. It is an infinite. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, if you don't get accused by Kramnik, you're either named Carlson or just not good enough at chess. I wonder, I wonder. Do do you think that the the winning you know so many games in a row or having such a good score in that many games really is what did it for Kramnik? Like was was that really the spark for accusing Naka after all these years? Saw Magnus wearing some cool clothes. Wait, what what's Magnus wearing today? 
Did did y'all did y'all see the the uh the gift exchange with all the players at the champion chess tour? It was pretty funny actually. Oh, so Mag is wearing some clothes. Oh, on twenty seven hundred chess. Yes, that was Magnus. I see. Exactly, ski money. Oh, craziest thing though, and I'm not just saying this to prove it was 2700 chess, but <laughs> the craziest thing, um, Naka's rapid actually went up from the tournament. Like Naka gained a good amount of points from the champion chess tour. Uh, I want to say maybe like I, I uh, looking at the top, couldn't see um, Lazovic, but. I think he may have gained like the top points, the most points of anyone, which I didn't really think about or didn't realize, but Naka, his struggle was in the Armageddon games. Like he's actually doing pretty well results wise in the rapid, but not clutching it up in the Armageddon. Like I, I didn't even, I didn't, that didn't even click with me until I was looking at, I was looking at the ratings. So I was like, wait, why? <laughs> Carlson's lost points. Like Fabi, Fabi lost a decent amount of points. Naka gained a lot of points. Yeah, Lazovic isn't on there. Um, he's not high enough, but he would be the only other one that uh, that I would guess you know could have gained a good amount of points from it. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> Speaking of, wait, hold on. You gotta get your gotta get your title Tuesday in. Gotta get where's where's Carlson? Come on. Carlson should be here then. He's out. He's time for title Tuesday. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, not not wrong though. Like uh for me after a bad tournament. You would think the last thing I would want to do is play chess, but that's typically like uh, I have quite a few times where I go play Blitz or Bullet or whatnot. Max is, is parting with the chess bras right now. Ah, uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. You could definitely see that. Yeah, I mean, because Carlson, Carlson had the buy today, so. Yeah, yeah, he had a bit more freedom to do stuff. Ali Raisin, MVL, I'm calling you on you to join. MVL, that would be crazy. Like, he, he finished 10 minutes ago. Runs to, to join in. Screw this champion's chess store. I'm going where the real chess is. Title Tuesday. Watch out. Dubov, this is Dubov, right? Dubov tops the standings currently. That's uh, Dubov is such a good player, so it feels a bit weird to feel weird that he's the top player. Like it shouldn't be weird that Dubov's the top player, but it, it kind of is. I'm not gonna lie. Nightlife in Toronto is too boring. Carlson can't find a good enough team to play that on Tuesday. Uh, that was funny. When I, when I actually checked out Carlson's stream uh, when I played him, and and I checked out because I played Naka the game after in Title Tuesday, and I checked out his stream too, and the difference was, it was just so funny. <laughs> you go, <laughs> you watching watching uh, Carlson with the DJ just jamming out, you know. Occasionally he says something, and then Naka when I watched him was actually like getting really well into his thoughts, explaining uh, like a bit more, I would say on the the educational, like interesting side. Oh, Nihal, Nihal tops it now. Nihal just joined, Arjun just joined. The two Indian players, okay. Joining just like that, Arjun. Arjun playing a tournament in what, three days? Have a shot at the candidates. Dubov, the pioneer of the hyper accelerator, is here to destroy. Yes. Dubov, rookie eight. 
and the hyper accelerated dragon. If you know, you know. It's uh, we we're still we're still at the time Carlson definitely could join. Like this means very little. Uh, big fish is uh Fedoseev. Oh, I forgot we played. I think this was bullet games that we. Is this bullet or blitz? Apparently, I've played t twenty games with Fedoseev. <laughs> forgot about that at this point oh oh there he is there he is there he is carlson in 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 true carlson fashion joins once we hit the we get the beep <laughs> that it's about to start. He does this so much. Like this has that has to be intentional, right? Like Magnus, I don't know. Does he just does he just like smile to himself as he's like watch as as everybody just beholdens me? <laughs> he said he was watching football. Well, why not both? You know, little little title Tuesday, a little football. Thirty three seventeen. Nice, nice. Still above 3,300. Fashionably late. Steven, good luck to you as well. Thank you. <laughs> played, played chess with his phone at the same time. Didn't, I, I saw some image. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to turn on emote only here pretty soon. Um, but I feel like I saw some image that last week Carlson did play Title Tuesday on his phone. I, I don't know if that was actually real, but I I was I was shocked. I was like, <laughs> the phone is not where I would be uh, to play in Title Tuesday, as is obvious by the fact that I'm not. Uh, okay, let's throw in H3. I don't think he oh he does want to take on F3 really. I was going to say, I don't think my opponent wants to take on F3, but I guess I'm wrong. Uh, I'm going to play C3. If my opponent castles, I want to rush Queen C2 to prevent Knight E4. Yeah, I think my opponent thought I was going for B4 or just wants to advance that. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. I'll get around to that. And C5. Interesting. Play c4, then I would want knight d2. But I would need c4 first, or I could play b3. Yeah, I think b3 just to stop c4, but also start possibly work on opening up the position. Let's contend in the center, C4. What? What? What happened? My, my opponent resigned. GG's? Did did he get banned? That's normally that type of reaction, but says he's still online. Like I would have thought 
that sudden is like some sort of banner disconnection, but this... I don't think so. <laughs> easy, easy ups, easy ups, easy ups. C4, too good. He wasn't ready for it. Like, he's just, he's sitting here and he's thinking, oh, I think I, I got some good chances. Unless he plays C4 and then I just, I got to call it. I, I just, I got to call it. If C4 happens we're out and and then i played c4 so <laughs> oh gosh what the is, uh i mean it's 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 a tiny bit better than me which is is a tiny bit better for me which is kind of what i expected i mean b3 and c4 were decent but <laughs> what <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, let's, let's try and go grab one of the top games and let's go check out Carlson. He's still playing. Oh, he's equal, but he, he's got some good pressure. He's equal, but got some good pressure. Man, the Magnus Carlson's got to learn, got to, got to learn. Just make your opponents resign. Just, just make him do it. Wow. His opponents... Clutching this so far, but I mean Magnus Carlson with the grind. C4 tends to be explosive. Uh. The word of Caden Trope because he found the first move in chess history C4. Uh yeah, he can't play C4. That's uh did he ever play oh he did. He played C4, but too early. He played it on move four, Carlson did. Oh, Carlson's got to be kind of careful. Bishop d4 with mate ideas. King goes back. What do you do? Check. Hey, Corrupted Cobra. Hey, John. How's it going? Bishop d4? No, 90, 96, stop. I don't know. He might be drawing with rook f2 and then trading. It probably is a draw, but he's going to go after the pawn. King King h5 gets mated. He has to, he has to run. Probably king f6. Oh, he just, he just, he just blundered his whole face. Oh, the one move you can't play. The mate, Carlson, clutches it. Ah, the one. Oh, this this candidate master is gonna be kicking himself. Oh, he had such a good shot against Carlson. Carlson pulls. I'm gonna say pulls it out, but honestly, ah, yeah, using the same strategy he used with Ali Raja. Waits for the blunder. Happens every single time. Yeah, it's. No, I you cringe I cringe a little bit because it's just it's such a you you just like you feel so bad for for that candidate master there, but it it, it happens. You're you're low on time. The amount of just silly mistakes that you can make, uh, never <laughs> never underestimate the silly mistakes. It's so easy. Jospum is winning. Uh, Jospum won the morning one. Oh, King of six. He probably could repeat or go back to g seven. I never feel bad, especially in one v ones. Yeah, it's uh, ah, you you kick yourself to make those mistakes, but when you're in time pressure, you know it, it's actually super easy. Maybe someone or team to resign immediately in his chat. Ah, he forgot to pause it. You gotta you gotta turn that off for Title Tuesday, my guy. Ooh, that's a nice mate. That's a nice mate. Nasty. Jeffrey down a pawn in an endgame. Wow. Okay. This could be the first upset we're going to watch. 
His opponent definitely should not lose this. I don't think he should win this, but he just repeats. Knight of seven. He's going to push. He's going to push. Mr. President, something like 18,000 dog treats. Got to gotta save it. Got to use that. Those resign immediately on Tony. Remember that. Use the resign immediately on Tony. Alexei Serana. Oh, wins on time. Dang. That's a tough. With the pressure here, a potential F5, that's tough. It's a tough position. Flip forward for Tony. Just going to save up 10 and adopt him. Yeah, Tony doesn't respect the resign immediately against Baby Vamps. It's... Freaking Tony. Joke is people cheated during Pro Chess League, but you probably never heard about it because addressing Kramnik is more important than... Uh, BP, did you... Are you are you talking about the T-Grind for Trojan stuff? Your opponent tried to troll you for <laughs> resigning. He's hoping you mess up. Yeah, Stephen Willie, I, uh, I've even done that before, actually. I, I trolled one of my opponents and promoted to a bunch of rooks and in one bad moment. It was not good. Not good. It was not smart. All right, we're coming down to the wire. The next round should be starting. Nigel Dwarf. Uh, Alan Moore Suzuki. Wait. No Sophia. Is it Sophia? Okay. That's funny, though. Play on Nigel Short. N Nigel Dwarf. Okay, there you are. I was going to say. If he doesn't play, this is going to be the funkiest freaking title Tuesday. Oh, this queen beat three line. It's been a minute. It's been a good minute, which in and of itself is probably not good. C6 was the move. And E4 is not the move. Can I just... What's wrong with just taking? I'm, I'm going to find out. If there's something wrong with it, we're, we're about to find out. I think keep the queen... It's thinking somewhat active. Yeah, queen e5, f4, I think I bring the queen over to a5. Because knight b5 is my big concern. Knight b5 is what I'm I'm sort of watching out for. Okay, okay. Don't hate it thus far. We got greedy. And the greed has been okay. Preparing a castle next. Preparing two castle next. Chilling. We're chilling. The concern with taking pawns in the opening is always that <laughs> my opponent's going to hit me with some crazy theory. I think we're definitely past that. Okay, I could go here. Then if he wants the queen trade, he could play queen b5. I feel like it's better to go queen e6. 
offer the queen trade myself because it's, it's since I can't avoid the queen trade, it's going to be better on my terms on e6, I think. So, do that instead. Wait. No, no, knight b5, now a2 is hanging. So, I, I can just castle. Now that is hanging. And this is looking this is looking pretty pretty good. I guess I guess even taking technically could be a consideration under some of the same ideas of taking here, but I'm a little bit more hesitant about that one. Uh, I think I'm gonna play bishop d7 next and work on either freeing my bishop or playing bishop d7. And then taking on c3 with some bishop a4 ideas. Okay, he's storming the castle. We're not worried about it. We're not worried about it yet. It's gonna it's gonna take him a minute before that, that threat becomes a reality. Right, I'm gonna go with this rook, give my king some space. Okay, the queen is moving. Uh, queen h4, there's no threats yet. So, I, I mean, this is kind of what I've been pre preparing, is some idea with knight a4, or just something over on the king side. I think now's the time. Uh, the queen is gone, There, there's no pressure here. I was, I was even thinking about knight a4 or bishop a4 when the knight was still here. Distract it. And then... I go for taking on a2, f4. I could just take. What, what's what's the issue? If I just take stuff, I have to be a little scared of maybe a bishop d3 at some point. That's fair. Ah, it feels so wrong. Feels so wrong, but feels so right. Oh, I'm just blundering stuff. Oh, shoot. I'm just... <laughs> There's the wrong part. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, at least I have two pawns for it, you know? At least I got two pawns. We're, we're not going to trade rooks. I want to keep the rooks on the board if I can. The attack. The attack is still, still on its way. Run, pawn, run. The knight's trapped. He's too busy trying to stop whatever he thought I was doing over there. Wait, that's a huge threat. That's a huge threat. Ah, oh, let's go. Get him. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't need the piece anyways. I didn't need it. I wasn't using it. Uh, what was the right move? Oh, <laughs> uh, f5. G takes. Wow, queen f5. Queen takes f5 is actually the second best move. Going for, like, I didn't see this endgame, but it was actually the second best move. Queen f6 is the best. Bishop d4 now, which I definitely was not thinking about. And then we repeat. <laughs> I should have taken, yeah, under promote. 
That would that would have been nice. That would have been nice. I definitely I definitely removed the queen. So I can take it my mate. Wow. Okay. So opening wise, opening wise, let's take a let's take a quick look. It must be bishop e6 first that I that I'm remembering, and now knight c6. Now it's it. I need to look at I need to look at my file here. Because the computer actually quite likes his position at the beginning. And then thinks I should have gone queen a5. Because here, bishop b5, provoke c6, take, take, bishop c4, hit the pawn, hit this diagonal. Oh, hit this pawn! Oh, that's... <sighs> Sneaky. Hey, Alan's Playhouse. How's it going? Bishop takes b6. Yeah, threatens mate here too. I ain't know any of this. <laughs> oh, GG's, GG's. Uh, yeah, I... I wasn't sure in the opening. I... I know... I think there's a way I can discourage you from playing e4. I thought that was knight c6, but... I don't know if I'm mixing up stuff. I think I am. But yeah, I uh I didn't even think about trading everything. Like this this was not even this wasn't even my wheelhouse. I was just thinking of the attacks and so when you actually went for this, it's like, okay, guess I'll figure it out now. <laughs> uh oh, Jesus. Oh Duda. Oh, big dog. All right. All right, here we go. Dang, it's been a long time since I've... Uh, it's been a long time since I've played Duda. Should be interesting. What what has he got against the London? What has he got? What do you got, Duda? Let's see it. A little C5 action. I'm going to play the Jobava trap, which he's not going to fall for, of course. But, I don't know, this is the way I play. I've, I've just kind of picked it up. I play it, even if they don't fall for it. Knight h5. That's interesting. My gut says bishop e5 and then bishop g3 after f6. Now he's going to play it. Wow. Okay, this is interesting. Let's do this. Let's go bishop e5. I'm going to I'm going to leave my bishop on e5. I'm not going to let him take. I'm going to leave it on e5. And yeah, let's take goodbye bishop. At some point, he's going to play f6. And I think it's probably fine for him to play f6. But it will start to, you know, start to open up maybe some weaknesses. Let's get ready to push e4. Let's push e4. I feel okay about this. I'm feeling okay. He drops back. If I take, does he just want to trade everything? Hmm. No, he does want to take on f6. Sort of what I expected, but mm, I'm a bit surprised. Okay, he's going to lock it down.
Let's play C3 first, solidify this pawn, and then I think some sort of knight maneuver, either jumping up into E4, or I'm even thinking trying to swing around. Yeah, Queen D5, trying to put a bind. At least for the moment. It's a bit annoying to stop. It's definitely a bit annoying to stop, though. Let's attack b3. Uh, I gotta pick up the pace. I gotta pick up the pace here. He has double my time. And not terrible pressure, honestly. It's not it's not bad. It's it's definitely gonna be just annoying in the long run, I think. Just annoying in the long run. May actually be time to avoid that. Ah, yeah, yeah, definitely annoying in the long run. <laughs> just this little bit of pressure that is just hard to do anything about. Don't think my queen's getting trapped, but it's a bit risky. Yeah, this is just bad. Ah, oh, it's falling apart. Dang, dang it. Yeah, ah. Uh. I don't know, like queen, e, queen h6. I, I, I spaced I could move my queen to c2. That was the original plan. That was the original plan. <laughs> and then he played it and I, I don't know, I panicked. <laughs> and I put the queen on h6. Oh, this is, this is, this, this was just annoying. I wonder, if there was one, any way, like, could I have in the early stage? C3, this is fine. Man, it says it's equal here, but... Dang. Did I have rook takes after queen takes f6? No, because cause here he uh, he has the, the x-ray. So he can take... No, dude, last time I played him was in the challenger section at Tata Steel. Ah, uh, he's good. He's good. 
Yeah, it's just the just the refuted. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Well, this knight h5 was was definitely interesting though. Apparently, I should go bishop g5 and bring bring all oh, play knight e5 here. That's what the computer likes. <laughs> hey, 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 double Jared. No, no, it's just hopefully, hopefully he is healthy. Yeah. Oh, Roro, you got the emote only. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Ah. Ah, he's good. I wanted it, dude. I always want to take down those big guys, but it was just, uh, yeah, he he got in a solid position. He, he he was patient. He played that well. What is happening here? Wait, why is this complicated? This shouldn't be complicated. King G6, you you check your way to glory. Or or that. <laughs> no, that that's even better. <laughs> uh, but but even if not, like even if the king is or the queen is like anywhere, you check, king goes, and then you check mate. When well, the king's that close, it's uh Pawn, the pawn advance being advanced like that and where it is doesn't doesn't matter too much Christopher you fighting for his life no he's drawn okay fight fighting to win fighting for his life to win that's BP you're making mac and cheese dude Big mac and cheese fan. Ka Kai Kai Kaiu eighteen. Cow. Oh, sorry, Roro. I know you said you had the emote only, but I was kind of in the zone. My bad. Thank you, though. I'll try to. I'll try to not do it next time. Cause I appreciate you, and it is helpful. Alpin, we were talking about it earlier. D five. Okay, my opponent is surprised. Knight e five. That's a move. I don't know what to make of this move. I kind of want to just call him, call his bluff, and take the pawn. Because I'm a greedy son of a gun. And I'm a greedy son of a gun. So here we are. I mean, you checked. You got some pressure, but I got a knight. See, I got a knight. Say hello. It make its acquaintance. This knight does everything. It's the perfect piece. Okay, okay. But my opponent didn't know d5. The the knight e5 feels like uh, because sometimes when you don't know moves like and there's just so unusual, you sort of feel like you should be able to punish. Your opponent, and that's that's kind of what it feels like. It feels like he was trying to punish me to say, "Hey, d five's not a move here," and I'm like, "Yeah, it kind of is." H six again. I'm gonna call his bluff. Take my knight. You put your push up on g five. Come on, take it. Take my knight. Go ahead. I'm not worried. That's right. You run. That's right. You get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Get. Hmm. Actually, let's do e5. Knight c6 is, is a little annoying, but I but I would hide on e8. Shh, don't tell him. Shh, don't tell him. Don't, 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 don't tell him. Okay. 
that was that was not smart. That was not a smart thing. Dang, it's an old thing. <laughs> now I know, I know too much. It exists, and I know it exists. All right, let's get rid of it. <laughs> ah, the pawn was hanging. But nobody, nobody, nobody needs to know that. I think now I can take. Now I can take, and I, I, I go back, and I take the pawn. He'll probably pick up this e4 pawn, but... It will it will relieve some of the pressure for me. I I, I believe it will relieve some of it. Going for it there. Okay, hold on. Take now. I have some I have some ideas of of trading pieces. Is also. Destroying his structure. Okay, he is not for it. But now I take. Hold on, how do I want to do this? Because this knight's going to be annoying. So I feel like I want to take this knight, take here, and say I'm up two pawns. Okay, it is opposite colored bishops, but two pawns is plenty with opposite colored bishops. And then, you know, some rooks. Maybe even just straight up opposite colored bishops, because because I have extra pawns on on opposite sides. Which if you do ever win an opposite colored bishop endgame, having pawns on opposite sides, you create those pass pawns between the king and bishop. It's just too much to defend. This should be good. Feeling good about this. Um, maybe a weird trade. I feel like he does. He wants his rook on d1. Like that, that to me was optimal. Because now I get to put this bishop on c3, which takes away e1. And b4. Just, just put a clamp down. Just get a, just get a nice, a nice bishop. All right. That's one pass pawn. Opposite colored bishops. The ideal is two pass pawns. Let's uh yeah. This time I'm aware of the pins. I'm 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 ready for the pins. He's going for bishop e1. Or bishop e8. That is annoying. It's very annoying. Uh, maybe I should I should prepare this. Try and try and uh, push some of these pawns first, because I wanted to go for the f two pawn, but there's you know some skewer ideas, a uh, little bit inconvenient, <laughs> a little bit inconvenient to lose my pieces. Not too bad. I just want to see where he's putting his king. Yeah. Okay. Let's take it over here now. And up. Oh, freaking. Maybe this is fine, though. Let's pretend this is fine. This was all planned. That's what we're going to that's what we're going to tell ourselves. All planned. All planned, 100% planned. Yeah, that's, I was worried about that. That's why, oh, he has that check. Oh my gosh, I'm throwing everything away.
Okay, it's still a draw. Oh, uh, what was this ending? Oh, I missed all the bishop moves. Like 100% of the bishop moves were just not in my brain. We're just chilling, you know, we're just chilling. Just chilling. No rush. Just playing absolute garbage, but we're in no rush. Oh, no. Oh. It was literally six moves till 50. Oh, that was such a bad end game. Oh, Bishop C. I was holding that so well. Ah. Should have stayed, yeah. The sad part about that is like, not only did I throw that so hard, but like a lot of people just watched me do that. <laughs> Cause I, you know I was the last game. Like I'm, I'm fairly confident I was the last game and everybody just watched me do that, so. That's fantastic. I love that journey for myself. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get the timer pulled up here just in the background because I think I'm going to hurry and run to the restroom since it is the break. <laughs> and I probably should take a walk after that one. But let me let me uh, let me throw up the standings here for you guys. Uh, a 2500 who I've played before. I've played this guy before. Currently sitting atop the standings. What the heck? Very nice. I'll be right back.
All right, I, I am back. I'm back. I think, uh, I, I love it, but it's time for the Christmas uh, sweater to come off. Got to get, got to get serious now. Two minutes. All right. We got two minutes still. He'll forget about it in like 10 minutes. Yeah, that's probably true. I've, I've seen, I've seen a lot of those blunders. Uh, just, just like so much. Who's this guy? Wow. Holy shoot. This guy top in the standings taking down three 2800s. Dude, let's go. <laughs> Good on him. BP, you're making you're making truffles, mac and cheese. Ray's how how's title Tuesday title Tuesday? It's going all right. Um that last game, the last game I played was so bad. <laughs> it was it was so so bad. But um oh, other than that, it's going great. Oh uh, dude. Ah, see the small bit of redemption would have been if I held the if I held the bishop and rook. You know, it would have felt like garbage, but I would have at least felt somewhat good. Yeah, here I don't know. It was still okay, but here I got it. I have to move my bishop. I just spaced bishop e8. I, I, I don't even... Like, this bishop... I just forgot about this bishop. I didn't I didn't think... Oh. Sorry. I didn't think this bishop... Like, 90% of what I missed was this bishop. Like, it just doesn't exist in my brain. Uh, and I don't know why. It was... Uh, like, I missed bishop d1. I missed bishop takes h5. I missed uh, bishop e8. It was it was it was the ghost bishop that just like disappeared until it became a problem, and then it's like hello, remember me? I'm like no, I don't. Please stop. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is this is it. This is it. Thank you, Roro, for emote only. Gonna destroy this guy. Tu Tuna Han Alpin, bring it. Just played this, and I got a good position. So. Excuse me. Watch out. I think I think I should go f6. Like normally they play h3 to try and discourage bishop g4, but if he plays knight d2 solidifying, then I feel like maybe f6 should be knight e5, knight f7. And now let's bring the bishop to e4. Yeah. It's gonna take okay a ninety five here. Is now Bishop G four is a it's 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 a, it's a big threat. If he doesn't play ninety five, maybe he plays H three. Yeah, he plays H three. Now he what he's saying if Bishop E three then Knight G five. Not a bad point. I really don't want to play h6, but that kind of makes sense. h6, bishop e4, or h6, queen d7. I throw caution into the wind to play c5 and go for the center.
you know, feels a little questionable, but like fun. I actually kind of like it. Uh, I mean, because I have the two bishops. feels a little bit questionable to, to give up a pawn like this, but, you know, some good central play. I'm not too upset about. And if rook c1, I think I play queen c6. Like, I just put a clamp down on the c6, on him pushing. Yep. Then rookie eight after rookie one. There it is. I, I got to be careful of giving him this square. So that's where I think I'm going to start with d4. Maybe try and get this pawn ahead first. Yeah, d4. Mm -hmm. Bishop e6, next. What? That's... Now he's going... No, he... I think he blundered that. I think he... I think he thought this was hanging. Ah, uh, do I get rid of the pin first? No, because then then if I go to get rid of the pin, he has queen c2. Okay, okay, I have, I have an idea. I think it's a good idea. I think it's good. Maybe not, let's let's start here. I have, I have an idea, somewhere in the back of my head, I wanna play like c6, bishop, queen, e4. But I need, I need the right moment. I need the right moments. Okay, now bishop c6, rook b7's an idea. But the queen, the, the problem was in some of the lines I was thinking about going for with bishop c6 is he has like this check and around. And I don't love that. And if he goes b5, should I ignore it? And there it is. Uh, it's a bit scary. It's a bit scary, but we're going for it. Yippee Kai freaking Ack. I don't know, in my head it's working. It's just scary to sack a rook. Yeah, he goes queen h2, and I go bishop d6. Queen doesn't have another square to defend the mate on g2, unless he goes, like, way out. And then I should have something with queen h1, king f2, queen g2, bishop g3, queen bishop f3. Let's go. Mate in 11. Ha <laughs> it worked. Got him. Got him. The turnaround. The spice. Easy money. Yeah, you know, I had to go for it. I want to see c5. Not that bad, 0. 0.4. 0. 0. 0. 0.5 for a, a full pawn sack. I, I, I like that. Stayed around that until, yeah. 
He gave up the piece. Um, wow, could he defend? No F3. F3 is a mistake. He needs to go for this defense with the pawn still on G2. So that after bishop e5, he has places to move the queen. Queen d8, queen takes d5. The problem, I think, Roro, is that I'll hit this bishop on g5. So bishop f8, take, take. Probably a better better way, better chance, a bit, a bit messier. Oh. Steven, three out of five. Me too. Hey, let's go. Was it sound? Ah, who cares? Yeah, this this definitely would have been a better try though. D three, bishop c five, and it keeps going. Wait, wait, computer, stop repeating. What is the move? Queen e six. What? Oh, because eventually I get queen d four. Either lets me take first, or I get queen d4, and then I take. Oh. Thought h4 white had some chance. h4 win. What do I think? Uh, arrays, e6, like Taimanov stuff. I think it's pretty good. I, I've seen Magnus play it a couple of times. I <laughs> like the c5 Sicilian. BP, you silly guy. What games? Are there still games? There they are. Ooh. Wait. Who's playing? Okay, so white has to be playing for a win, but... This is an easy draw. Just sack the rook for the f-pawn. And then put your king on h8. The, co the bishop's the wrong color. Oh, there. <sighs> With 0. 0.3 seconds. 0. 0.3 seconds he plays it. <sighs> Yeah, D pawn is scary too. Yeah, I was on YouTube and saw the pin variation and thought it looked pretty good. What? Why? Why are we? There we go. <laughs> I want a, a grandmaster in chat, silly. Is that was that the last game? Yeah, that was the last game. Yeah, they're really. Uh, thankfully, thankfully it stopped there. Thank you, Roro. Emote only, here we go. Defender. Defend one -er. Timor Kiliberta. Don't know who that is. Okay. C three, queen c seven or knight c six, bishop g three, f four. It's a thing. Oh no, he's going. Is he gonna play bishop a six on me? I'll play bishop c two. Yeah, bishop c two. And what do we want? We want the slow play with bishop g3, f4? I think so. I think I'll, I'll slow this down. Still still go for my f4. I'll have to watch a little bit out for some sort of pin ideas with this bishop on c2. He's going to play rook c8. He's going to play it. I'm calling it now, rook c8. Okay, now he's taking time. Now he's taking. He was thinking rook c8. <laughs> Changed his mind. Ugh. Knight d7. What is the? To play f6 or f5 maybe. Probably f5.
So I'll solidify there. No knight takes d4. And then... No, it's kind of a weird position. And then it's just kind of weird. Maybe it maybe if f5 I actually take on d7 and then go replace the knight. Because this knight could sneak into e4. But this knight struggles to sneak into e4. So I get rid of I get rid of this knight. So there's no e4 issues. And then if I want to replace it, I can on e5. Wow, he's thinking he's thinking long here. What the heck? Okay, I want to try and provoke. He's gonna play. He's not playing f5. He he must not like the structure after f5. That's that's all I can think. He must not like the structure. It gives me time, then h4, h5, of course. It's going to be the next move. I feel like, could he be considering a, a full sacrifice of the queen, take on d4, and then... No, oh, he is going for this. I'm not, I'm not going to be... Creative. I, I don't need to be creative. This is a very <laughs> good attack. <laughs> wow, he's just accepting it. Accepting his fate there. With the pawn loss. Okay, I do have, I still have to be careful of this. I can't actually Bishop takes f5 does run into that, which is which is annoying. I think I do just take, and yeah, I, I draw back. So I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose out on my attacking for for at least the moment. But I got two pawns, and I have pretty solid position. Probably some still still some tricks I'll have to watch out for. Maybe still some tricks I can go for. Wow. Okay, he was ready with that. Solid. Ooh, okay, Queen G6. What are you what are you doing about this pawn? Let's throw this. That is this is a threat. Okay, so let's make sure that's protected. There it is. There it is. There it is. There we still play. Okay. Jack, Jack, Jack. There we go. We got him. We got him. Um. Really confused by g6 there. Uh, that felt good. That felt good. I, I managed to keep the pressure. I feel like I had uh, some some pretty decent pressure. It was still messy, but yeah, I don't know. Just a couple of decisions here by my opponent that apparently with the two pawns, he does have knight takes d4. 
Oh, wow. Sack the full piece. Because Rook takes is a huge threat. Wow. So he's still... And he had Bishop... Wow, apparently it was still messy with my king in the middle. And then h6, it falls apart. That's crazy. I mean, I, I definitely felt it that it could be risky, but I'm I'm surprised that it's it's equal with something like knight takes d4. That's insane. Apparently the computer likes me just playing knight f3. No, the evaluation. Just a crazy game. What can you say? Just a crazy game. Let's check out Dubov. Dubov is winning, but exposed king and oh my gosh, he has two seconds. Oh, he has two seconds. And then exp and he's just he's just giving up the pawns trying to trade. Oh, okay, okay. The back and forth, the back and forth, trying to trade. Oof. Man, living on the edge. Living on the edge so much right now. Ooh. King, nope. Takes with the queen, some checks. Oh, and he found the repetition. Ooh. Oof. That that's definitely one of those games that could one hundred percent have gone anyway. Oh, for now, just flags. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I, was, I was ready for that game to be exciting. Steven, my game was good. I ended up uh, taking him down in a in a London. How was your game? Okay, this is boring. Is that boring? No, maybe there was... Definitely chances as far as opposite colored bishops go. This should be GG's. Ended up having a super crazy game. Lost to a 2760 GM. <laughs> it's the opposite colored bishop end games every darn time. Okay, they did end up drawing. This is just over. Black's going to promote this pawn. With checkmate. There it is. And that was the final game. So far, three perfect scores. Lazvik, Matthias Blue Bomb, and freaking Aram Hakobian that I can never remember for the life of me. Why do I feel like I recognize this username? B3, okay. C4, let's go for an E6, D5 setup. Try and mix it up a little bit. C6, D5 is the little bit better, typically, but sometimes with this E6 setup, you can keep it a little bit spicy by getting in C5. Okay, we're borderline a symmetrical position if I play here. We're close. I think take. And... Maybe knight c6, because these two pieces are in the way. I shouldn't have any discovery issues. And I feel like trading this knight for that knight on d4 would be advantageous. Yeah, so he's avoiding it, trying to replace that knight. And now I think I switch gears just a tiny bit.
I don't know. I'm a little torn because every every move I feel like hangs something <laughs> that I'll that I'll have to watch out for. So I'm I'm actually thinking I I take I'm not uh, and I I don't I don't worry too much about it. Take if queen takes, I think I play a six. And ooh, he's going for it. Wait. What's happening here? Or I could go there. What's the... He takes here. Actually, where does the knight go? Let's do it this way. And then take with the pawn to interrupt the threat. Knight's trapped. It's not it's not completely clear yet. He could could play that, I guess. It is a move. <laughs> now queen takes b6 is his idea, knight d7 with the discovery. Don't take that square away from my queen. Any other tactics? Any other tactics? This has been ah, oh, it's just kind of a mess. But I, I feel like this is this is finally it. Threatening here, I'm threatening here. I don't think the pin, the pin doesn't do anything. I just take the queen, he takes my queen, I take the bishop. Pin there doesn't do anything either. He can't I mean, how do you follow up with the attack? You you could play knight c5, but I, I can defend it. I like the hesitation. Hesitation means my opponent's not finding anything clear. No clear escape. He's worried. <laughs> Freaking Alex and Infinite with the dancing emotes. I like it. Bishop A3. Okay. I mean, that's a move. Yeah. Yeah, that's a move. Uh, I could make him sack with two pieces. Uh, let's not do it. That's, that's just... It's probably a bit more of a mess than I want. When I can just be up a piece, threatening a pawn. Work C8 would have would have forced things, but... I think this is fine. Just take the pawn, take this pawn. Yeah, there's no no problems with my queen because I have queen c4. He's gonna drop back there. Let's I'll drop way back. You know, it's, we're in no rush. We're just we're chilling. We're annoyingly chasing his queen. We're continually annoyingly chasing his queen. He's hanging his pieces in the attempt to avoid. The queen trade. And we're still just taking pieces. He'll figure it out at some point that they're all missing. 
Maybe. I don't know. He keeps giving me more, so. Um Okay, finally let's let's go for the trade here. Let's go for the trade here. Rook takes. <laughs> let's go for the trade here. Okay, let's go for the checkmate here. Ooh, I like that knight. Ooh, I like that knight. Felt good. It felt good. Look at that. Yes. Those are the games. Those are the games I like to play. Now, if the computer thought about that more, probably, uh, you know, <laughs> we'll take those that zero, zero, zero for now. Wait, what? <laughs> what are you guys doing? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, uh, the freaking emote only. Yeah, I was gonna. Keep it, try, you know, try and keep it non. <laughs> what the frick? Uh... Oh, look, that time, wait, that timed BP out. Wow, that many deleted messages. Who knew? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I just, I didn't know it did that. BP came to play and Twitch is like, yeah, this many messages, you're out of here. Goodbye, BP. See you in 10 minutes. Love you. Nothing personal. You know what you're doing. We try to keep it family friendly. We try. Definitely far from perfect. But we try, you know. Uh, that's a free bishop. Did 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 I dream that? Did... <laughs> this is for first place, by the way. <laughs> These players are tied six and six. That was a free bishop. <laughs> you know, those are the moments. The... Chess kind of makes a fool out of all of us sometimes, you know? It makes a fool out of all of us. It that's that's what kills me. Like some people get really down on themselves for doing something astronomically stupid. And I get that. I get that. I you know, I didn't love my fourth round game. I felt pretty stupid. But you see a game like this and you realize that's not unusual. No matter how good you are, that's just a part of chess. And it does suck. That doesn't mean it doesn't suck, but, you know, that's just a part of chess, and you gotta, you gotta be okay with it. Oh, wait. The, the pawn here, this is a, this is a weird endgame. There, there are some cases, okay, definitely not this case, but there are some cases where a, a rook and pawn, even against the bishop, is like a very, very difficult win. Uh, when it when it's an edge pawn, I don't remember exactly. I think it's with the pawn on h4, king on oh, the opponent, king on the queening square. Jospum. I didn't. This should be not winning. Wait, what happened? Is he gonna hold this? I feel like he's. What was missed? I'm confused. He just needed to go for the pawn quickly because he takes this one move. Now it's a draw. Ah, I sort of understand the the idea, but not not enough to be able to explain that. I don't, I don't know what the. What was the winning move? Did I just did I just space something obvious? I, I don't understand. I don't understand fully. Might be an end game. I don't know if I'll come back to it since this is, is the final game. But okay, there it is. 
Look at these players. Just just going for the quick draw. Not like, yeah, Rook H4 infinite, but he had a chance to win the pawn later, for sure, right? With the king on b4, he could have played rook h4. I don't understand. Sergei's Golko. All right. All right, Roro, thank you. He's a good player. Uh, I remember the game I beat him. I don't remember the game he beat me, which is probably not good because it could very well be in this this line right here right now. He plays it. What is this nine h five? What is happening? What are, what 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 course came out with knight g five that? <laughs> Everybody picked up except me. actually go for this here and I think I want knight takes could be a bit risky but it's castle kingside okay he is not going for anything over there Ah, uh, he has knight f4. Never mind. I don't like I don't like allowing knight f4. Like I really want to push e4 a lot of times to actually be ready to play e5 against uh knight f6, but just dying this pawn a little bit. Just saying hello. He's going to take there. He'll take there. Oh, he's going for the push, but he knight e5 with knight c6. This could be interesting. How annoying is c4 if I take that pawn? It looks pretty annoying, actually. Let's, let's actually do this. Queen h3 first. Now e4. I'm trying to create weaknesses in the center. At least make it so... He can't just so conveniently trap my bishop after taking on a6. You know, as long as it's not convenient. He can trap my bishop, but as long as it's not convenient for him to do so. Hmm. 
feel like f4 after d4 could also be a consideration. He is going c4. My plan was to play here. I think I'm going to keep with it. Bishop c2. Keep the bishop ready and open up the pressure here. Queen c5, take, take, e6. Could be spicy. Okay, he's taking. And taking there. Not simple, just kick the knight. Or not, not, not complicated, <laughs> just kick the knight. Uh, it could be a mess though, pushing the f-pawn. Oh, wait, wait, I take... Oh, I don't know. I think I should be holding this. <laughs> oh, ah, shoot. Wait, he pushed that pawn? Wait, I was going to try and provoke that. Oh, run, run, run to your life, King. Oh, that's it. Oh, no. Oh, that was tough. Dang, that was a tough one. Oh, I, I'm probably losing that whole time, but all the checks. Oh, queen, queens. 
Oh, that was crazy. That was crazy. Hey, BP, how's it going? Welcome back. Ooh, yeah, that was intense. Um, how was this? This was good. Thinks I should go bishop f1. Bishop c2 was second best. Should play queen c3 here. Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, I mean, you say? Pretty, pretty, uh, it was, it was fun. It was fun. I don't feel too bad about that loss. I mean, the, the dance around, and I'm just so happy here. <laughs> I didn't wonder. I wasn't, like, getting mated somehow. Oh, it was close. Ugh. Oh, that's round eight. So we are on the, we are on the break. That's good. Five, five and a half minutes. You ate more mac and cheese. Your dad read you a bedtime story in emote only mode. Nice. Or you're asking me. Because I uh, don't know if I should respond to that. Uh, it's been, uh, it's, it's been pretty solid. I've, I've felt pretty awful about my round four, but other than that, I've been pretty happy with my play. Uh, the couple of games I lost to the higher rated players were just, uh, you know, kind of long-term pressure. That is tough. You know, I don't, I don't feel too bad about losing that way. Um, for the standings, let's show that. Matthias Blue Bomb, seven and a half, leading. Magnus Carlsen. Did Magnus Carlsen withdraw? Or am I blind? Magnus! Magnus! Oh, Magnus, where are you? Good point, Red. That'd be a cool, a cool redeem, though. Carlson joins. Yeah, Carlson joined last minute. Like a minute and 30 before it started. Carlson joined. But maybe maybe he thought twice and left before before it even began. I want to see. Let's let's uh I'm going to look him up over here. Oh. Well. December 12th. What the heck? No, cuz we we no, we watched his first game. Duh. We watched his first game. It looks like he won four games and then withdrew. We saw this one. His opponent was super close to drawing. Carlson clutched it. Those all look like Title Tuesday games. And then he withdrew on four out of four. Carlson said, oh, sorry, let me change the view. Here it is. Carlson, look at these. These are, yeah, those are definitely Title Tuesday games. He didn't lose. He won all four. <laughs> and then he peaced out. <laughs> what the heck? Magnus, what? Didn't want to lose rating. I, why? Why play the first four? I mean, he's not gaining points <laughs> for for these first four wins. Uh, I don't know. Did the did the soccer he was watching get real intense? Uh, and he just uh, had to had to go had to go check it out. Two minutes till starting. Um. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. Surprise! Surprise! Carlton joined, but even more surprised that he bounced. That's uh, it's just funky. I. He just wanted to show he, you know, he he could win it if he wanted to. I'll show everyone. Hey, look, I can win games, but I'll give you guys a chance. I'll drop out. BP with the emotes. 
Oh, that's Goldilocks. Nice. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. <laughs> Very nice. I like it. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. Talked about Carlson. Thought about my games. I'm ready to start. We got a minute. We got a minute. It's too long. Chess.com. Six minutes. Six minute break is forever. Especially since it goes off the last game. Like, I, I understand if... Uh, uh, no, actually, I don't understand. Because the last games usually go quite a while. And so, like, in theory, you should finish. You should have a couple of minutes. And then a six-minute break is, like, forever. I just want to play chess. Let me add him. Hey, there's me. 53rd? 53rd currently. I got to get that up. 53rd. Remember that. 53 right now. The goal is to finish at least higher than 53. <laughs> Eric Rosen. His, uh, his tie break is garbage in the five and a half point group. I guess because he played Carlson and Carlson bounced. <laughs> the high rated player that should have given him good tie breaks. Peaced out. All right, here we go. Here we go. Flame board 08. Lorenzo. <laughs> F4, 9H6. I love it. Just because it looks so dumb. I got to play it every time. Ooh. Ah, I usually don't mind going for these end games. But, yeah, I, I, I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should hate it. Just be patient. Just be patient. Maybe this was questionable. I thought I would I thought I would have more pressure here, but maybe it's just a little bit questionable. Wow, he's going for C4. Mm, I think I take first. And then I take. He's going to take, wait, 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 no, I take here. Uh, these, these pawns captures are not equal. Why don't you try that? Get that out of here. Yeah, non-threatening knight c2, right? Like if he, if he tries to take or he tries to take with a pawn, I just play knight c2, I think. I'm confident that I might play it. <laughs> confident it may be the move. He's hesitating. That's good. Uh, I feel like there could be some sort of interesting sacrifice. I'm not quite sure where, but my light squares, you know, they are slightly questionable for sure. So I don't, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibilities that there's an interesting sacrifice. Hey, okay, he's not going to go for it. He's going to accept fate. He's going to hardcore accept fate. Take there. Okay, let's go queen d6. I want to be a little bit mindful. I would love to play knight g4. So... I think both of us are, are kind of waiting because, like, if I play e6, a move I kind of want to play g4, I bishop. I, I mean, I do have this move, but it is it is annoying. 
But if he moves his queen, similarly, I, I might jump into those squares. It's a little bit of a waiting to see who moves first. I think it's going to be me bring the bishop back, get ready to bring the knight in at 5e3. Any five, yeah. I think I still, I just leave that knight there. And I'm going 93, because 93 will interrupt the protection on f4. Now he's dropping back. Ninety-five. I think I just repeat, but as you know, always repeat once. Now you also see the psychological effect. I, I definitely don't want to repeat. Like I'm just up a pawn. I don't mind. I, I like my position. I'm also, you know, rating wise, the guy that should be pushing a bit more. But you see that hesitation of, of repeating for him. Because I repeated, he now is like, wait, am I missing something? And and thus, he's happy with the draw. What's going on? So there's some good psychological effects to repeating. I don't want queen d7 because of knight c5. And then now I'm just, I'm just trying to take this pawn. Maybe I shouldn't rush. He does have b3, I think is the idea. It's actually really annoying. Can I just play c6? Am I just overcomplicating this? Just add another attacker and this is pinned? I'm just overcomplicating this. Still kind of messy if he goes for the full sacrifice, but I, it's just, I think it's just too much. Yeah, sad to lose, sad to lose the light squared. Bishop, but I think I'll be fine. My knight's pretty decent. It's pretty all right, I think. Yeah, definitely going for this. I'm not even, <laughs> not even gonna think twice. Uh, let's go. I need six. Fear me. Yeah, I think this was just this was just an early oversight. Still a little bit messy because the the structure is weird. I have some weaknesses, and I think my opponent did well just to kind of keep it confusing. But <laughs> how long did I spend here? <laughs> uh, I spent so long just to play c six, and c six is just good. Uh, sometimes you just, you can overcomplicate stuff. Just don't overcomplicate stuff. Think, keep it simple, stupid. Then see what there, what was there for F takes E5. Wait, after, after knight D4? I thought that, I thought that was knight C2. This is my game. One sec, let me pull it up. F takes knight c2. And I mean you can see it like only only a minus for a, a complete rook trap. Like he does have compensation, but I mean it's it is a full rook. So 
so yeah. He 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 just he just rushed with taking on on d5. Um Yeah, this is kind of what I was thinking of going for, and I'm actually surprised on the evaluation. I would have thought I was a little bit worse, but I have just good pressure here, and I think bishop g4, bishop e4 targeting this will be nice, and then this knight actually has its use. Because my, <laughs> my opening, I guess, makes more sense than I thought it did. But... Yeah, I should I should just take on e4. I just uh, I really wasn't feeling an endgame. I really wasn't feeling the the take and the trade and like quite often I am. I don't mind playing those positions, but in this case, I was not. Ooh, is this the last game? Ooh, dun dun dun. Wait, no dun dun dun. Why are we watching this? Why is this game still going? So, anyone got any good jokes? Uh, Rook versus Rook. Ban them. Uh, Titanic is my guess. I only read, like, the first team. <laughs> uh, there it is. All right, here we go. The John Hall. Easy. Right. All right. Good luck, my friend. Good luck. I need to destroy you, but good luck. Ooh, he's playing c5. Here, I take bishop e3. Yeah. Come on, bishop takes. You know you want bishop takes. <laughs> I don't know. I... <laughs> It's it's equal either way. Like taking on c5 theoretically, uh, not the best, but I find these positions to be quite comfortable for me, and I've played them uh, decent amounts. Queen b6. He's, so that's he's gonna stop himself from playing b6, which is interesting. I think I still I protect this pawn. Now I'm ready for b4. Now I'm ready for b4. Okay, 94. I think c5. I think c5. But then the queen goes there. That might be that might be just annoying and not pressure. They don't want to allow it. So let's go. Let's start with queen b3. Yeah. Yeah, I like queen b3 better. That's, uh, in case you guys were wondering, I still think about my moves <laughs> as I'm playing. Try and keep that good blitz base. Okay. Let's go ninety five. And in a world, F three would be a problem for my opponent. I think he should play Bishop E eight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping he does doesn't play it, but I think he should. Is where I was going with that sentence.
actually here because queen a4 if i play rook d1 first i feel like there could just be some annoyances with queen a4 having to be careful of knight c3 ideas so i'm going to play that first just keep the tension right that's all i'm doing with with rook c1 i'm not committing to anything i'm just keeping the tension asking my opponent okay what are you going to do now in some crazy worlds queen b1 now might be an idea He's going for it there. Um, all right, take. He's going after this pawn. Actually, let's just kick him back. If he takes, he's trapped. I think that could be interesting if he was getting my bishop, but I don't see how he is, because the only square I can see for this rook to find protection is, is on e4, and then I have knight d6. Okay, d4, let's kick it back again. And then I'm going to play knight a5. All right, all right. Right in there. Queen b6, this mate, is his queen trapped? Yeah, he's not gonna play it. Good, good on you, good on you. Definitely wasn't trying to trap your queen. Definitely would never do such a thing. That would be a douche move. Definitely no thoughts about trapping queens here. Zero. Zero of them. I could just I could have just taken, but <laughs> I'm trying really hard to trap. <laughs> oh, I was trying real hard to trap the queen. That's fine. You know, win the game, go for a queen trap. We go for a queen trap. Okay, let's block him from pushing e5. Whoa, whoa, that's spicy. All right, we'll go back. Man, no hurry. Yeah, I don't know what that does. I just don't know what to play, honestly. Oh, huh. he grab it, grab it, grab the piece. <laughs> ah, uh, uh. Uh. Yeah, that was just a uh, freaking opponent. He, he just said, screw it. I'm not trying to win. 
I'm just gonna sit here and let you figure it out. Ugh. Which I guess is a smart play, but ugh, dude. Yeah, rookie two was really just. A, I'm getting a lot of time. I need to find a move, but got the one rook, and then yeah, I definitely, I definitely missed queen g one. <laughs> uh, but we we got there. We got there. Was b6 not a thing because of yeah? So bishop f1 was my whole idea, um, which I, again I think is just silly. Like I I should just take the pawn. It's not the most amazing advantage because he gets a light square bishop, but. Yeah, if, if uh, b6 here, his queen doesn't get trapped, trapped. Oh, the computer actually says he should sack his queen. Yeah, okay. Well, that's a thing. But I, I expected b5. And even if I just go back, I, I think... Uh, this kind of blocks his position down the pawn on b5. I was really hoping for queen b6 because this is such a sneaky queen trap. Such a sneaky queen trap. Knight c4, only square queen a6, rook a5, queen can't go anywhere. I was so hopeful. Uh, BP, is that the Queen's Gambit TV show? Japan, I don't know. Oh, no, it may not be. Okay, we're into it. Krakosia. Oh, final round. Uh, yeah, Roro, in that last game, Queen D7, I think, was fine, too. But just keep the little bit of pressure. Who is this again? Krakosia. Dennis. Oh, Kismat Tulin. Definitely saying that wrong, but. Definitely seen the name before. He's playing. What do I like here? This? Take Queen D4? I think. Looks interesting. Ooh, he's dropping all the way back. Okay, so he's probably going to go for c5 at some point. Uh, rush it with e4? It's kind of... Oh, wait. He's going to... Uh, where's that knight going? It's, it's of course it's probably going here, right? <laughs> because that's <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, that would have been that would have been it, you know. Just knight h five. That's if it happened one more time. Oof. This is interesting because I could take push f3 and then go after the f4 pawn. I lose my dark square bishop. Mm, I don't think that works. He has some sort of f6 stuff. That's kind of annoying. I could take castle and start putting pressure in the center bishop g7 there though it's kind of annoying actually let's do this i think yes take i'm gonna drop back hit this pawn just to see where where, where are you putting that pawn right it goes there okay For first, I don't know this is gonna be this is gonna be a really weird structure. Knight c4. I think I'm just gonna take it. Bishop d4, king f2. It's the it's a funky pawn structure, but I I don't hate it for myself. Okay, he doesn't want that. He's dropping back. I 
let's have d4. Uh, that's ugly. It's an ugly move, but knight d1. I think it needs to be played. King in the center, but it's fine. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Knight sneaks into C5. Knight E5. Whoa! Does that work? It's pretty scary. I gotta prepare bishop d3, and he had knight e5. I don't see the checkmate, but the king's on g4. Oh, that's sneaky. Bishop f8 checkmate. What the heck? What a sneaky little guy. Get rid of the pawn, because I think my king can run to f5, but f takes g6 would be annoying. Oh my gosh. What a weird repetition that would have been. Oh, oh, he hung it. He hung his rook. Let's go. Get out of here. Get out of here. What a freaking game. Ah, he wasn't ready for it. Ah, let's go. That was scary. What? The frick was that game? Oh my goodness. Let, let's go. The computer is going to tear us to shreds. It's going to tear us to shreds. So his, his exchange sack, it says, was okay. I should go king d2.
Ah, oh, I feel so scared with bishop f4, but I guess I just bring the king here and I pretend that life is fine. Equal. Equal. <laughs> he, got, he needs to go rook, rook g2 first. And then when I guard against bishop f2, bishop e7. Bishop g4, f, oh, f6. And this is this is equal, okay. So he goes here. This is good. Rook f three was good. Bishop g four is good. G six. Okay, so I should just run. This just looks so scary. This just looks. I, I was so scared, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I I went back g seven. 16th place let's go that's better than 53rd let's go we got it we got it lazovic takes first wow nice on him top 16 yes let's go what a finish that feels good that feels good it was really just that fourth round that was so garbage other than that i i, I feel pretty good about my play this last game, I mean, uh, was this close to repeating because, uh, I mean, that is the draw. Like, either I, I repeat like I am or I take on h3. Oh, what a move, though. Wait. Wait, what? He has... Rook f4. Because if take, rook h4. Wow. Wow. Uh, decided to go for it. it was good i should i should probably play like f2 or something just to not have to play rook b1 but that rook kind of <laughs> seriously you saw you saw bishop f8 nice row row 2800 yes what a what a good what a good finish what a good finish it's just an absolute insane game that I thought I could be getting made at any second. And uh, now decided to go for it. And okay, would have been nice to one grinding it out, but hey, I'll take I'll take the 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 one second slip up. Pick off that rook. Woo! Alright, let's see the final standings here. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna say, it's gonna say, I, it's gonna bump me down to 18, I guess. Tie breaks, a little bit of adjustments at the end. But that's okay. Still good tie, tied with some really, really strong players. Lazovic takes first. Matthias Blue Bomb, France. This is, uh, Armel Kumian. This is last. Andreakin tied. For you, pretty good, pretty good. Wow. My heart was uh, racing that last game. Oh, did I place higher than Duda? Takes me down and then... Wait, where? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, suck on that. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, he played, he played really well against me. It's nice to nice to overtake him in the end. Eight out of eleven feels good. What's my opinion then on Abdusatarov? What what ended up happening there? Did he did he end up taking down Naka? I want to pull this up. Let me let's switch then switch again. Keep you on your toes. Picaro did lose. Ah. In the Armageddon, so they drew. Wow. Looks like Abdusatarov had some good chances. Naka's only time for chances was around here. But I mean, it's Armageddon, you know. Whoa, wait a second. You guys see what I see? Why does Hikaru still have so much time? 
he play super fast in this opening? What did he start off with? 15, right? To 930. Yeah, I'm surprised he, he played somewhat quickly around here. I mean, he still has eight minutes and... Hmm. Hmm. How do Sitarov takes him down? Um, I mean, I think quite posit positively of, of Abdu Sitarov. I, particularly when he won the Rapid uh, World Championship, and I still, I still do. Uh, I, I, I don't remember how how old is Abdu Sitarov again. Uh, but I, I've thought for a long time he he's one of those to watch out for. You know, a future World Championship contender, and always been. I mean, he, he's kept up it, kept up at that level. Now, I think the fact that he's managed to stay, he's 19 years old. Okay, so definite, definite possibility there. Uh, 19, still young, still could be a world championship contender. I think it will be, I, I would say the next two two years. Like the next two years for Abdu Sitarov will be the big ones because he's he's hit and kind of stayed, uh, you know, above 2,700 and... You know, two years from now, if he's gonna make that breakthrough, I, I I feel like it it needs to it needs to be in that timeline, uh, for him to really be top of the top. I think he absolutely could do it, but we'll see. It's Magnus versus Bobby Wesley So versus Abdu Sitarov. Oh ho ho! That should be fun. Um, <laughs> I I still do expect. Magnus to take Bobby, so to take Abdu Sitarov, and it to be a so Carlson finale. But no, he's he's been he's been a really strong, really consistent, really solid player for for a good while now, and I think he he's 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 one of the ones to watch. Uh, but I do feel like he's at he is at that point where I think if if he. Like his next breakthrough, I expect him to kind of break through and then consistently hold above twenty seven fifty if it comes. I I feel like that's what's to watch. What is to watch out for? It's just his next his next breakthrough. He has a very aggressive style. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's always been a fun one to watch. I feel like uh, yeah, he's he's kind of. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe I maybe I should just look it up. Let's let's check his rating graph. Oh, that's so bright. Oh my. Hello, Fide. Welcome. Hello, Google. Rating progress chart. Here we go. Yeah. So, you know he. Had this this good breakthrough around here. I put him over twenty seven, and he's been holding it pretty well. Like since he's crossed twenty seven, he's held it, which is amazing. But he is at a point. Let's see. He's been maybe he hasn't been above twenty seven hundred as long as I thought he did. I guess he he only crossed twenty seven hundred officially, uh, a bit over a year ago. That's not long at all. So maybe, maybe I, I thought he was there for longer. I thought, you know, it was a bit of like a, a, a two, three year plateau over 2,700. One year. That's not bad. That's, that's, that's a very, that's a very solid, very solid chance for him to, to be future world champion, I think. Gosh, I gotta stop looking at this page. Oh my, that's so much brightness. He does look like he's oh. yeah. <laughs> Fide doesn't. This is weird of me to say, but like, this profile picture actually makes my Fide profile picture look old. <laughs> uh, what about now? Now I'm curious. Carl Carlson's Fide profile is definitely updated, right? still looks like 
pretty long ago, Magnus. Like, maybe I'm wrong here. But that looks like, like, if I had to guess, that is a non versus Carlson, Carlson, like 10 years ago. That would be my guess. I'm going to, I'm going to do some looking in the background. You guys tell me what you think. Carlson, non photos. Yeah, so uh, I don't know if that's a photo of him at the World Championships. We kind of see it, though. This is it. Like, tell me, where am I wrong? That that looks, that's not a great photo. Maybe they have some better. Oh, there it is. It's better. That looks like a non-Carlson. Carlson, like, <laughs> right? That's that looks like the suit coat too. Am I wrong? Am I completely crazier? Looks a little bit darker there, but does speed does speed ever update these? The the picks that go into Mega Database, I'm not sure, Roro, because. My my one picture in chess space is not like it's not my FIDE profile. My FIDE profile is gosh, it's this one. Uh, they have spider webs on their photos. Seriously, I mean, he, like seriously, like Magnus Carlson is definite. That that photo is definitely five years old. Who else? Who else we got? Um, maybe Ferugia, because Ferugia's a little bit younger. Would Ferugia's be? Oh, Ferugia's isn't bad. It looks like we're Castle playing chess. Hey, it's because that's how I talk to my pieces. I'm never going to give them up. I'm never going to let them down. Okay, I'm going to stop there because already it's not true. <laughs> uh, what about... Yeah, I'm not gonna spell Nepomnishi. So Nepos isn't too bad. It is this is a bit more updated. But yeah, I man, Fide's gotta one more thing. Fide's gotta step up their game. Like Fide's kind of disappointing me. If they could at least update the photos, maybe that's some form of redemption. <laughs> Never gonna give up a pawn. Never gonna give you up. Gaming it from the start. Ugh, crazy. Freaking, freaking this shot, yeah. The point is, Abdu Sitarov, I gotta say, a year having crossed 2700, he's kept it. He's definitely one to watch. Him, uh, of course, Skukash, Arjun, Frog, and Vincent Kaimar. I think are all all ones to watch. Perugia, if he gets motivated. I should cross 2700. Yusef, you know, if we if we if we keep playing in tournaments, which we have a tournament in January, then, then I have the opportunity. Like I'll definitely, I mean, I'll definitely push to increase my rating. We'll start we'll start first with uh you know, big goal, maybe 2600 be the big goal get there and then then if you know if i cross 2600 then then we can worry about the 2700s you know then we can worry about it the old brain must work faster uh, i felt pretty good you know i feel pretty good about my thinking most of the time i still have my bad moments but I feel pretty good about it it's been nice streaming and getting back into it and you know, playing a lot of games. Like, I think last week I got the notification that um, I had played a thousand games on the Chess Dogs account. So, it was pretty good. It was pretty exciting. Been playing a lot of chess. A lot of chess. 
All right, y'all. I think uh, I think I'm gonna call it there. I'll be uh, I'll be streaming again with Tony tonight, and that will be about four hours, four four and a half hours. So we'll be back here fairly soon. Uh, before I go, any anyone on that you guys do want to raid let me know i prefer you know smaller streamers if you guys know anyone that is going on right now that we could stream i really really appreciate we've gotten a lot of great raids the last couple of days ourselves so if there's anyone you guys would like i'm gonna take a look in the background Try and see who is currently streaming. I don't know too many of the people. I Sloud. I I 19, a French chess streamer. All right, Yusef. <laughs> Wait, does 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 uh do they speak in French? I mean, I'm still down. Don't get me wrong. I'm still down, but <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right, sounds good. You'll have to you'll have to send send my best if they if they speak in French and let them know. Elena, <laughs> I don't speak French. Ramen Lord, go go hit him with some emotes. You know, I, I like uh just <laughs> yeah, get. Oh my god, no, I like I like to spread the love around with raids. So. Go say go say hello, and uh, maybe <laughs> learn a few French words. Thank you all so much for being here, and I uh, hope to see you all back tonight.